What do you think, Sissy? You think we can win? Mm. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode here at the Old Number 7 Garage. It is a new day, and we've got one day left until we race. But there's something I gotta do before we get ready to go racing, and that would be work on my tire side. So, our buddies over at Tire Demon, Tim Love and the gang, uh, sent us out an updated heim for this because the original one, you know, had just a standard heim in it. The updated one like this will hold uh, hold this straight where you, you actually don't have to self center center it yourself. Got knee blades for it, the circumference and the angles. So we've uh, we've got a lot of miles logged on this thing. So if this is something you'd be interested in, you just reach out to uh, the Tire Demon by Love Tap, and they'll get you handled. Uh, like I said, we've got tons of miles on this thing, and your arms will thank you in the long run. So without further ado, let's uh, let's just get into slapping this stuff on, and we'll come back to you. All right, guys, so next we're going to take these here off individually. When you do that, basically, you can drop the ends off of it. Start pulling these out one by one. Now, uh, I'm going to go get me a pair of pliers and put some gloves on because those are sharp. Not too bad. All right. Let's speed you up so it's not so boring. Throw some music in there and we'll get her done. Well, there you have it. One new set of blades. Uh, so I've got, you've got this circumference cutter. I've got blades for it. And they are uh, pretty wore out. So we're gonna replace them got a two blade and a four blade and then I uh, don't really use this one a whole lot so I'm gonna save those new blades and a needle so I'm gonna put these two on and we're gonna call that thing done and we're gonna start prepping some tires because that's what we need to do well before we do the tire prepping I'm gonna jack this up a little bit and dad's gonna change the oil so we can get that done put oil and filter in it And it's not quite high enough to get his cat litter jug underneath of it. That ought to be enough? That's perfect. Well, jack stands are still there, so if it does fall, you won't get smushed. Well, here's this situation all lined out. Got all the new blades on it. And got that on there. And see that? Won't let that move. Before, it could just swivel with that standard heim on it so that's going to make life a lot easier for uh me and b so what i'm going to do not mess with that one because it's already prepped i'm going to take these tires off give them a little bit of a grind job i'm going to take that tire off that wheel put a new wheel on there because that's my old three off stuff i don't want that on there no more prep that tire i'll just prep it on that wheel all four of these and mount one up on a new wheel on the old bassett five hole inertia and I think we'll be ready to go. But if I didn't say before, look up Tire Demon. I'll link them in the description below. Uh, they have got a tire grinding stand. And that tire side, I mean, they've got all kinds of attachments for it. This is just an old all-star stand here. But uh, look them up, guys. They're the ones to look to whenever you're trying to get your tire prepping done. I needed them a long time ago. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna finish that up, grind four tires, and sipe them, and we'll get back at you. Well, there you go. A small pile of rubber, a little bit of elbow grease, gets the job done. So we got all of the tires, ground, 
siped, staggered. You know the drill. You've watched this before. So, thanks for hanging out again, watching me and Dad wrench around here in the garage, work on a race car. Uh, one last time, I know I sound like a broken record, but I want to thank the guys, Tim Love and them over there at Tire Demon for getting these to us very quickly and letting us get our tire sigh tuned up, ready to go, and letting us get our work done. So now uh, we got one day left. All we got to do is load it up, Yay. put the nose on it, and and we're we're golden we are ready to rock and roll so wish us the best of luck uh we're gonna head out there and hope our motor runs good hope we got those uh gremlins behind us so what do you think sissy you think we can win mm. you think we can win saturday i don't know that's not a very good answer i don't know how come i can't predict the future oh you can well what do you think you think your dad's capable of winning She don't know a whole lot. No confidence in her dad. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. Tim here at the old number seven garage is late. I'm going to bed. Got to work tomorrow, so we will see you very soon.